The installation of this processor is similar to that of an Athlon, an Athlon XP, and, believe it or not, a Socket 370 Intel processor like a Celeron or a Pentium 3. The first thing you want to notice with your new processor is that two of the corners on the bottom of the processor are going to have a pin missing. This is a key of sorts, so the processor should only go into the socket one way. Now before you install your processor, take a look at all the pins and make sure that none of them are bent. If they are, you'll need to straighten them. This is what the socket looks like that you're going to be installing your CPU into. As you can see, it's hard to miss. This is the lever that you need to lift in order to open up the socket. All you need to do, and hopefully you have a fingernail, is put your fingernail between the lever and the socket and pry it up out of the side. There's a little bit of a tab right there, so it kind of requires you to flex this bar out so you can clear it and get this lever lifted up. Once you do this, you can take your CPU, noting again where the two missing pins are on the bottom, which here and here, noting where the pins are missing on the socket, and simply take the processor and drop it in the socket. Now you want to make sure that the CPU is completely level. What happens if it's not is it will affect your cooling. The heat sink won't sit level if the CPU is not level in the socket. So you want to make sure that all the way around the edges there's no gap of any kind. Just push it straight down, hold it down, and go ahead and lock the lever down. There's going to be some resistance right here. That's normal. Go ahead and push it. Boom. It locks down. Real easy.